Hey guys, this is a pick a card reading. This is your breakthrough moment. So choose from either piles one, two or three to receive your messages. You can choose more than one pile if you feel guided to. Um, and also if you would like a reading with me, please check out my Etsy shop, which I will link down below. Um, and feel free to follow my um, mother and baby blog if you wish to. Anyway, let's get started. So your breakthrough moment, so group one, your breakthrough moment. <laughs> so, okay, so where to start? Okay, so we have two people holding hands. So your breakthrough moment is connecting to your higher self. And right now through this reading, your higher self is trying to connect to you to let you know that a love connection is on the way. Or if you're currently in a commitment, um, it could lead to marriage or if you're already in a marriage, um, it's going to basically lead to more commitment and you're going to feel reconnected to your partner. Um, the person you're with now or the person you're about to meet is going to be your uh, life partner, is going to be your soulmate. And they are part of your destiny. They are part of your breakthrough moment. So when you two hold hands, you're going to feel like you're like traveling through space and time, essentially. And it's just going to awaken something within you. It's going to awaken the light within you. Um, as part of this breakthrough moment, okay, we have the ring, so, and then we have marriage, so rings could be significant, they could gift you a promise ring, um, or a wedding ring, um, someone's favourite colour could be red, or red could be significant, or you could be wearing red, um, when you meet them, um, the ring is all about commitments and being committed not only to ourselves but being committed to others. You have a strong commitment coming in. Um, if you're single, this commitment is going to come in soon. If you are not single, then you're just going to get recommitted to the person you're with. It could be um, renewing of vows. Um, but your breakthrough moment for right now starts with yourself. So. I feel like you're stepping into a place where you're seeing things clearly right now and as you connect to your present self you're also connecting to your future self and your future self wants you to know your breakthrough moment you're going to be all right you're going to be cared for you're going to be looked after you're going to be helped someone's coming in um with a basically giving you an offer and helping you out um and also where you are being more in the present moment. When we're more in the present moment, we're able to see into the past and the present and the future. So we can connect more to those aspects of ourselves. Um, yeah, so red roses could be significant. We have them in both, are those roses? Yeah, so you've got roses here and the rings. Um, Purple could be significant, purple crystals, um, sapphire as well. And then um, the two uh, red roses. So it's definitely to do with being connected to yourself, but also allowing in um, this new love, this true love or a reconnection in what you're already in. So then we have some additional messages for your breakthrough moment. So it says opportunities, an important offer will be made. Be prepared um, and dress to impress. So you're definitely going to, if you're single, you're definitely going to meet someone that is going to give you this opportunity to grow, to connect, to give you everything you've always wanted. Um, and if, and then obviously apply that to your situation. If you're already with someone, an opportunity is going to be presented for you both and you're going to be able to go on a date. You're going to be able to grow from it. You're going to feel good. Maybe if you're already in a relationship, they're going to start speaking your love language uh, there, are five, there are five different love languages um, maybe your love language is physical touch or words of affirmation or gift giving um, I certainly see you're going to be complimented a lot more um, as you kind of step into this um, new sense of self um, confidence is quite key here um, so be confident in yourself be confident in where you are currently because you're actually on the right track 
Then it says protection. Strong protective magic for the family and the home. Um, so what I'm actually getting for this, for some of you, if you're wishing to get pregnant, yes, that is in your future. Um, if you already have children, yes, they are safe and your family will be protected and it's safe. But also if you're questioning, are you going to have a family with the person with your destined person with your desired person yes you are going to have a family with them but a family can mean different things to different people so it could be that you get some animals together or it could be that you have children together um also for those of you that don't actually believe in marriage there are other ways in which we can get married to someone that isn't necessarily like signing something and having the big wedding there are ways to like you can do um oh, i don't know what they're called I think it's a pagan thing, um, an, uh, like tying the knot, but like you actually tie a knot and it represents something. I don't know what it's called, um, but for some of you, if you know, if you don't believe in marriage, there are other ways in which you can show commitment to people. Um, so yeah, and then we have your last card. So um, this card actually, this looks like a keyhole to me. So I feel like when this person comes into your life, they're going to unlock something within you. Maybe you didn't believe in true love and then you meet this person and you do. Um, or the connection you're currently in, you're going to start seeing them as your life partner and they're going to start treating you properly. Um, and you're, if you are already in a commitment, you're going to know if they're your person, you'll just know. Um, if you question it and you have loads of doubts, they're probably not the person and there's probably someone better for you. But for a lot of you, I'm, I'm actually getting that you haven't met this person yet, if you're single. Um, you could be in talking stages, but I don't think you've physically met them yet. Nature could be very significant to the connection. Nature will be very significant to your breakthrough moment. So spend more time in nature, spend time by trees, under trees. Um, oh my God. Through the Looking Glass. This reminds me of um, Alice in Wonderland. So um, there could be a clue in that film to do with your breakthrough moment. But your breakthrough moment is basically being connected to your innermost positive self, um, attracting in a true life partner, soulmate, um, feeling protected, feeling good within yourself. Um, and I feel like you're gonna be feeling really excited. Your breakthrough moment is feeling happy, feeling excited. Um, getting something you've always wanted. Yeah, gardens are really important. Gardens and nature is very key. Um, probably very key for this connection, but also very key for you because it will help you get connected to yourself. Um, yellow could also be a significant colour. Yellow um, is the chakra colour of the solar plexus. So, um, so when you watch this reading, Maybe later today, work on your solar plexus. So you could do a bit of yoga um, or you could listen to um, healing frequencies for the solar plexus. Um, just to bring that a little bit black into alignment. Um, if you're feeling a little bit, you know, if you've been having stomach issues or feeling really stressed and tired, it could just be that your solar plexus is slightly out of balance. Anyway, guys, that was your breakthrough moment. Um, have a lovely, blessed, beautiful day. Bye bye. Group two, this is your breakthrough moment. Okay, so first off, what I'm getting with this is, is to do with self-love. Um, we have the card of love, but I, I actually see it more, but oh, white lilies could be significant. And white lilies represent um, like purity and rebirth and release. So um, part of your breakthrough at the moment is releasing an old self, um, is releasing limiting beliefs about yourself, is releasing things that are kind of weighing you down or people or situations. You're going to be, as part of your breakthrough moment, you're going to be coming into a time of self-love um, because you're taking the right actions within your life and you're doing the right things for yourself. And I feel like you're amping up your self-care. 
Um, I feel like pink is going to be your power colour. So wearing the colour pink, painting with the colour pink, all of that is going to help you feel more loving energy in your life. Also working with rose quartz crystal. Um, I've just seen 1010 on the clock. So that may be, there may be um, an angel message in that number for you. If you look up angel number 1010 and see what it says for you, there will be a message there for you. So with the clock tower, I feel like you are, you're going to start speaking up for yourself. And um, if there was an authority in your life that oppressed you in some way, you're going to break free of that. Um, you're going to be coming into a time of enlightenment towards yourself and about your life. Um, and through gaining enlightenment within your life, you're going to be able to um, grow, shift and change and ultimately just feel better. Not only that, we have the birds here, so you could be an air sign, but you don't have to be. Um, for some of you, you could be travelling and that's part of your self-care. Um, it could be like a short trip somewhere or it could be actually travelling overseas. And then with the clouds, if you have been feeling confused, the more you focus on yourself, your self-love journey, your healing journey, the less confused you're going to feel. Um, London could be of significance because we have the clock tower and I'm just picking up on Big Ben. Um, or just in general, clocks could be significant. And when I think of clocks, it makes me think of time. Um, if you are older in age, I want you to know you're never too old to start what you want to do and you're never too old to chase your dreams or to go after something or someone um, just because you're maybe a bit older. Age is just a number. And you're not running out of time. OK, and then we have wisdom. So this is actually a really beautiful card. So we have the um, oh, what's it called? Is it a clam? I can't remember if it's called a clam or not. Um, it's kind of making me feel of the, um, it's making me think of the Little Mermaid. Um, because in the Little Mermaid, they, um, they're basically all dancing. And then when the clam opens up, Ariel comes out of the shell, but she's not there. So I feel like um, you're going to gain wisdom about your life, about things that were kept secret or held from you. And they're going to be opened up to you. As part of your breakthrough moment, you're going to gain the wisdom about certain things within your life and you're going to see the truth of situations. Um, you're going to see the truth of yourself as well. And also, when you work more on your self-love, um, you're going to see yourself as this pearl. You might have maybe not had the best... You might have had like a big inner critic, right? You might have maybe bullied yourself or put yourself down. Um, maybe you saw yourself as an irritation to people's lives and through working on yourself and healing yourself, those outdated false beliefs about yourself are going to be released and go and you're going to see yourself as this beautiful pearl. Um, you're going to gain the wisdom to see things from a higher perspective about yourself and about your life and then you're going to make the changes in your life so that you then become happy or so that you are then happy in that moment. Um, part of your breakthrough moment could also come through like reading books, doing classes, whether they be online um, or you physically go to a class or something. Then we have some other messages. We have signs. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusion, ever. any doubts and confusions, confusions will soon disappear. So you could be seeing dragonflies. I'm hearing for some of you, and you could be seeing lions or dragon dragons, like imagery, um, or they may just be your um, protective animals. Uh, at the moment so pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around you um, things are moving in the right direction if you start focusing on your self-love journey your healing journey right now you are going to move in the correct direction and you're going to feel a lot more better about your life the universe is trying to guide you right now by sending you signs so one of the signs is this reading if you've clicked on it um 
but pay attention to number synchronicities, pay attention to what you're dreaming about, um, any key things that you might be remembering, or, you know, when you're watching something or listening to something and certain words stand out to you, that is a sign to do with your life and you need to pay attention and listen to those signs because they're helping you come out of a place of confusion. They're helping you to reflect and to gain the wisdom that you need to move further and ascend. So then we have goddess, healing feminine energy. For some of you, you could be um, healing your feminine energy. You could be taking this time to focus on self-love. So maybe you're resting more. Maybe you're taking time out from work. Maybe you're getting a babysitter so you can take time out from your children. Um, maybe you're spending more time with female figures in your life or a friendship group. Either way, as you heal yourself, you're healing your goddess energy. You're healing your feminine energy within um, if you have had difficulties with food, I see you healing those issues. You could be working with someone to help you lose weight or gain weight, um, to have a better kind of, um, relationship with food. But others of you, this could pertain to money. Um, yeah, and you're gaining wisdom on your beliefs surrounding money or career or not having enough, not feeling good enough going to be healing that as part of your breakthrough moment um louise hayes would be a really good person for you guys to study um her story but not only that a couple of her books or classes i feel would be really good for you guys and working with affirmations um but don't just work with the affirmations work with other things alongside that um like maybe three things that you could do that can help you to um, basically feel better about yourself um, and then we have your last card and it says your, uh, it says inner power. By your own command, you, you brought yourself here at this moment in life. You have nothing to fear. Yeah, for some of you, you might have found you've had like a lot of confusion, confusion or fear about your life or you just don't feel you're where you want to be. But the more you work on self-love, um, Take time for you, connect to your feminine energy, um, whether you're mas like male or female, it doesn't matter. We hold both those energies within us, masculine and feminine energy, like the yin and yang. The more you take time for yourself and put your needs first, the more you're going to gain wisdom, the more you're going to be in your inner power. Um, I'm also here in for this group. If you YouTube... Um, taking back your power and either watch like a TED talk on it or a video or do a meditation, a five minute meditation on taking your energy back and do that like once a week. Um, and if you do like a guided meditation and kind of visually see your energy coming back to you, that's going to help you feel more in your power as well, because you're going to be back in your own energy. And as we go about our day, sometimes we can lose energy, but through our interactions with people, or just through going out and being in a public place. <coughs> um, also, I'm hearing for this group to drink more water and spend more time either in a bath or by a lake or any sort of body of water. Um, and that will help you get connected to your feminine energy and feel more peaceful and calm as part of your breakthrough moment. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave your reading here. Please have a lovely, blessed day. Bye bye. Okay, group three, this is your breakthrough moment. It's already here. <laughs> you just have to open your eyes to it. Um, so to begin with, your breakthrough moment is regarding success. So um, we also have the sun and stars and the butterfly. Butterfly represents transformation. Um, the sun represents uh, versatility, health, um, feeling good within ourselves, good things happening. And then stars can represent um, astrology or fame or some sort of recognition. So your breakthrough moment is within whatever you're doing. Um, I feel like this is probably more career related. 
um, or it's something that you're stepping into to do with your career or what you love. It's something that you love. You are going to gain recognition and success from it. And also from yourself, you're going to feel accomplished. You're going to feel proud of yourself. Um, yeah, so with the sun card, your breakthrough moment can also be with regards to, I feel like you've come out of the darkness and things are looking brighter now and you're feeling better. So you're maybe in the past you were pessimistic and now you're going to be more optimistic. You're going to be more... Um, feeling good within yourself and because you're feeling good within yourself you're manifesting more opportunities in your life that bring about success your money is going to increase your kids are going to be happier um, if you have children your um, relationships um, and into dynamics with people love and friendship and family are all going to get better you're just going to be feeling so good within yourself um, you're going to be feeling like you've won the lottery for instance um, like you're just going to be feeling so good within yourself and that is your breakthrough moment because maybe for a long time you hadn't felt that you are going to be feeling that you're going to be feeling successful you're going to be feeling proud of yourself for some sort of achievement or something that you do so then we have synchronicity so it's making me think of that film closing doors which is all about chance and fate and meeting someone and stuff like that. Um, that doesn't necessarily have to be your story, but there are synchronicities here. So it could be that you think of something and then your friend starts talking about it. Or you have a conversation with someone about something and then it arrives in a letter through your door. So that's essentially what synchronicity is. Whatever this synchronicity is for you in your life right now, it is it is a blessing and it's from spirit um, and it was always meant to happen. So just open yourself up to it um, and feel good in this moment. Um, if you don't currently feel good in this moment, your breakthrough moment is you will be feeling good and it's not going to take too long. Um, and it's likely in career or something that you love doing. So um, life purpose kind of thing I'm picking up on. Um and also overcoming, if you've been suffering with depression, you are going to be overcoming that. Um, and you're going to be guided in the right direction to things that will help you with all of that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have positive work outcomes. Consistent effort will bring rewards and major per a, ma a major purchase is worth making. Yeah, so you're going to be hitting your goals. You're going to be, um, if you're out of a job, you're going to be finding a job. If you are currently in a job, your um, your workload's going to actually decrease, but your money's going to go up. And for some of you, you might actually be due like a tax rebate, or there's going to be some sort of unexpected windfall. Um, and you're going to find, if that is your message, you'll find out this week about that with the uh, increased windfall. Um but yeah, and you know, what we do for work doesn't necessarily have to be like a nine to five job. It could be, you know, you can do what you love. You can go towards your goals. If you want to be a singer, go be a singer. If you want to be a writer, an artist, go do that. If you want to, um, I don't know, other jobs that people want to do, be a scientist or a mathematician, you will be successful in anything you do. You just sometimes like you have to always put down plans and the groundwork and then you'll get to where you want to be. Um, and if it's meant to happen, it will happen. Um, but, and you, I feel like for this group, don't give up because you're nearly there or you are there. Your success is going to come. Um, just keep charging ahead with whatever you're doing with regards to your career or what you love. Um, yeah. And then we have achievement. Win the award, accolade or contract. Yes, yeah, for some of you, you're definitely getting a job or a new job. Um, or being recognised for something, or getting or getting an award. Um, yeah, there's definitely something here regarding work. Um, again, if you don't work, it could just be that you're focusing on something that you love. Um, and you're feeling achievement within that. 
So then we have your last card. So tunnels could be significant, dreaming of tunnels or teeth. Um, orange, uh, working with orange carnelian, carnelian that can help you feel confident and good within yourself and help low self-esteem if you had been suffering with that. Also, orange is the um, sacral chakra colour, which is like um, our kundalini energy within our creative energy um, and intimate energy. Um, so working with that chakra can help you um, basically go towards your goals on days where you feel more fatigued or knackered. Um, so doing um, frequency music for the sacral chakra will really help. Or certain types of like candle magic. Uh, like working with an orange candle and lighting it and stuff like that or just normal candle really so it says silent skill i challenge you to unpack your mind in meditation's grace the soul can unwind breathe in breathe out let go of doubt yeah let go of doubt guys because your breakthrough moment is you're going to be succeeding in whatever it is that you are going towards you are going to be a success keep going because you will get there or for some of you you're already there it's just a matter of seeing this breakthrough moment you're currently in it um and if you you know if you have been having any kind of doubts the meditation may be the key to overcoming those doubts um or it could just be if you don't want to meditate just spend time in nature or listen to subliminals or just listen to healing frequency music in the background when you're having a bath or when you're cleaning yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave your reading here. Have a beautiful, lovely, blessed day. Bye bye.